This is Shobha from CNS, and uh, I'm really honored to have with me today Dr. Gan Juan, who is Director of Tobacco Control Department at the International Union Against Lung Disease, uh, Against Tuberculosis and, uh, and Lung Disease, uh, which we commonly call the Union. Uh, welcome, Doctor. And, uh, you have been involved a lot with uh, developing campaigns and conducting policy research around tobacco control. Uh, what, according to you, is uh, the significance of local action and um, platforms like APCAT, uh, that is the Asia Pacific Cities Alliance for Tobacco Control and Prevention of NCDs? What is their role and importance in feeding into the global agenda? For the end game of tobacco and also uh, to attain the uh, uh, to achieve the SDGs. I think um, uh, a platform like um, AppCAD um, is um, um, is wonderful for um, city leaders to share experience. Mm -hmm. You know, lesson learned from one city from one country. Um, and you know the city leaders are very busy every day. They have so many issues to take care of. Um, and tobacco control not necessarily remains, you know, or take um, a lot of their time. Um, the existence of this platform really gives them the opportunity to learn um, what other city leaders are doing in tobacco control. For instance, um, what kind of policies uh, they have passed in other cities. And uh, how they enforce the policies, um, you know, even when it comes to things like how to counter the interference from the tobacco industry. We know some of the cities, um, like Belanga City, have been sued uh, by the tobacco industry. Um, so, how um, other cities can learn from this experience and uh, and to more effectively. Um, counter the industry. I think you know, as you can see from from today's event, um, this is really the opportunity for people to talk to each other and during one day only about tobacco control, um, which is just a wonderful you know platform and experience for them. Uh, India, China, Indonesia—they are th the three top countries as far as uh, smoking is concerned and tobacco use is concerned. Can you share some experience from China or how things are going there? <laughs> um, I, I think uh, I, I, I um, couldn't um, under, um, underestimate the effectiveness, the influence, uh, the impact of uh, local policy making. Um, for all these uh, three countries, I think the common challenge is the influence of the tobacco industry at the federal or national level. Um, for all three countries, um, very strong influence from tobacco industry um, at the national level. So it's very difficult to pass any national level tobacco control policy. Whereas you know, at the local level, state level, district level, city level, uh, the influence from the tobacco industry is um, much less stronger. Yeah, I think again the same across all three countries. Um, a lot of progress in tobacco control, especially when it comes to enforcement and implementation. For instance, in the in the in China, it's smoke free. In the in India, it's implementation of uh, COTPA, and here is smoke free tap spam. It's really these local policies and local enforcement, local movement that have, you know, um, uh, been the, the the highlights. And in, in in my personal opinion, that's really the one of the biggest contributing factors. That have you know driven down the smoking race and the tobacco use race in in India, and very similar across um, these um, these uh, three countries. It's really the local movement that's um, driving the entire tobacco control uh, momentum. Uh, 
I think you're very right there because uh, that uh, brings me to my next question which I already had in mind about uh, interference of tobacco industry at the global level. Now, um, it's good that countries have committed to uh, reduce tobacco use by 18%, I think, if I'm not wrong, by 2025. 18%, isn't that too less an ambitious a target? Just talking about India? No, no, I'm talking globally, the countries oh, have right, agreed. Right, I'm not right, talking right, about right, India, right, I'm right. talking at the global level. 18% uh, reduction in tobacco use by 2025. At the same time, we are aiming to Mm, sort of end tuberculosis by 2030 and bring down NCDs rate by 33% and I think tobacco is a risk factor, a big risk factor for in both cases. Uh, do you see the role of the tobacco industry in watering that down? So, somehow I feel 18% reduction is, isn't that too less. Uh, it's good that they will reduce but they have agreed to 18%. I, I think I think it's 30% uh, compared to 2015, I think. Hmm. Um, and uh, um, I, I would say this is quite an ambitious um, target in tobacco control because we're really dealing with um, a very addictive um, product um, with a very strong industry <laughs> behind it. Um, you know, if we look back, um, at the progress we have made, um, it's, it's not an easy uh, uh, a problem uh, to solve. Um, the way forward to, to reach that target, um, I think we uh, require a lot of uh, commitment from the government and um, with strong policies being put in place, uh, especially like raising tax, making cigarettes and tobacco uh, less affordable. Uh, I think that's one area that's been missing. And uh, that's one area the tobacco industry is really um, attacking uh, fiercely. So um, in, my, in my personal opinion, I think um, 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 a lot of countries have a lot of gaps in, in power. Smoke-free enforcement or even policy, tax ban, graphic card warnings, uh, and I think in the case of India, the smokeless tobacco, you know, yeah, you know, in terms of the warnings, um, they're usually very blurred, not effective, and taxation, you know, I think tobacco products are still very, very much affordable um, in the country. So I think in most countries we have um, we have a lot of policy gaps uh, to fill. Um, only by doing that, I think we can we can achieve uh, achieve that goal. Uh, what about the new tobacco products or new smoke, uh, smoking or uh, heat, heat vaping products which are uh, flooding the market again the industry's tactic to bring in new things under the garb of calling them safer than ordinary cigarettes what is your take there's no evidence to show they are safer yes. um, and uh, you know um, the union's position is uh, we should uh, regulate it um, as strong as possible and we know India government um, just released an ordinance to ban all electronic cigarettes and heated tobacco and I think um, uh, the union um, strongly supports um, uh, that position. Um, um, in a country like India, um, uh, I think um, the introduction of these new products will only bring additional harm um, to public health. And it's not a solution um, to India's tobacco use problem. Uh, India's tobacco use for problem is very much with smokeless tobacco uh, and BDs. Um, I think um, 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 uh, just doing the economics, you know, uh, the um, people who smoke smokeless tobacco and BDs will not afford, will not be able to afford uh, IQOS or uh, e-cigarettes. So it's not about solving the problem, but it's really about adding additional new customers, which are the new, you know, uh, wealthy kids and uh, middle class in Mumbai and Delhi. So um, I think um, I I really I'm really glad the government of India um, and with support of the tobacco control advocates in, uh, in the country um, 
has a very clear vision,、um, and、uh, we will, you know, very much, you know, standing strongly、uh, behind this ordinance to ban、uh, new products in India.、Uh, can we ever dream of a future where the, there will be a ban on all tobacco products and just not e-cigarettes? Because Um, sure, sure. I think, I think that's、uh, that's the um, the um, end game、uh, we have been all uh, um, uh, talking about.、Um, so you know,、uh, I think um, um, all of the that's really the vision and、uh, the mission and the、uh, goal of all the tobacco control advocates and、uh, tobacco control、um, organizations. And that we are working toward, but it's going to take a while. Like I mentioned, um, um, this is an addictive uh, products, uh, and、um, and the industry still remains a strong force、um, uh, to influence the government.、Um, so, I think、um, the solution at this stage is really at the policy level, and.、Uh, Coupled with enforcement, and to drive down tobacco prevalence、um, to a level、um, where the end game strategy, like banning tobacco products, can kick in. Because I think it's within the power of governments, like in India, in some states, the state government has banned the sale of liquor and alcohol. Sure. So, I only wish I only wish they would extend it to tobacco products as well, which might not be that easy for them. But like it is within their、um, legal power and within their political power to do so. So,、um, lastly, anything else you would like to share, and then your message for this fourth summit of APCAT. And thanks to the union for bringing this alliance alive and this platform, which all of us feel is really very important because local action is where, as you said, that the industry penetration could not mean is not that much. As it is at the country, I I think uh, um, 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 the the very much the value I see in the in the platform like APCAT is、uh, it brings together countries from the region who have、um, who share a lot of common challenges、um, and、uh, the local context is very similar. Um, so this is really an opportunity、um, for people to learn from each other,、um, um, especially when it comes to new products, novel products. And I think the challenges um, um, we're facing in this region、um, are unique compared to countries like you know, in Europe or North America. So you know, enforcement. As well, so I really see this as a, as a great opportunity, and really very much hope、um, Epicat will continue and will flourish. You know,、um, um, I I remain strong belief this will、um, be beneficial、uh, to the、uh, subnational leaders across the region. So、um, yes,、um, all the best for the、uh, for the for the platform. <laughs> Thank you. We were listening to Dr. Gang Xuan,、uh, director of the Tobacco Control Department at the Union, on site from the fourth summit of APCAT. Thank you. Thank you.